Here is a quick tip about unzipping in Windows Vista using the Windows Vista extraction tool. I have two files here that I've gotten from Obsidian Dawn. Um, she has some really awesome brushes and uh, shares them uh, very popular in the digital scrapbooking world. And so I'm going to um, point out first to you that if we double click and open this up, this of course is the easiest way to unzip. I could just then drag this out onto the desktop, but I want to um, show you how to use the extraction um, tool. And so first we're going to note that this one has a folder within the extraction and this one has just the file, no folder. So if you look here, this one has a folder and this one has a file. And that's going to be something I like to do before using the extraction um, tool. I'm going to right click on the file and extract all. Now I'm going to show you what happens when we use the default settings here. So I'm going to click Extract and it's coming onto my desktop now. Let me bring it over and, and there it is extracted. But when we open it up there's going to be a file in a folder inside of a folder and um, that drives me nuts because now I gotta click again to see all these great um, Photoshop brushes. And so let me recycle that one and I'm gonna right click and extract this one with its default settings. Now remember this one did not have a folder inside and so watch what happens here. We get a new folder with the file inside and without a folder inside. So you'll remember that the difference is that this one had a folder in it and this one didn't. And so when I right click to extract this one, I'm going to actually take a moment and delete this last part. You'll note um, if you'll have been observing closely that whatever this last section of this default that comes up in here, whatever the last section is, is the folder it's going to be creating. If it has not, um, uh, the first one you'll see is my desktop where I want it to go and the very last one it's a folder it's going to be creating. So since this folder already has a folder in it, I don't need to create a new one. So I'm just going to take a moment and delete that before I choose to extract it to my desktop. Whoops, I didn't mean to hit browse, I meant to hit extract. Now when I open this folder there's not going to be a folder within it. Um, it's going to go straight to those files. But for this one, I could choose to either get rid of that last part and, and it'll, it'll put the, fol the file directly on my desktop with no folder or leave it there to create the folder. Let me take this off and I'll show you what happens going to extract it and it put it on my desktop with a the file alone without a folder at all and that is kind of handy to do too because then I can just drop it into this folder and have them all together so um, pay attention to uh, when you're using this tool um, how the the uh, 
uh, the, <laughs> the folder is to be extracted um, what what it where it's supposed to be going because you may want to just take a moment and delete that ending and um, if this didn't make sense it's kind of hard to explain not quite as quick of a tip as I thought it would be but um, if this is hard for you to understand then just go in there and play with it uh, you'll you'll quickly figure it out and, and get what I'm talking about as to why sometimes you want to delete that ending part there or maybe even retype it and into um, uh, something else or you could even browse and and create make a new folder this way and uh, name it whatever you want and there there is so many options there and so I hope this little tips have, has helped you and maybe um, you haven't realized uh, what was happening when you kept getting those extra folders and I know for me that's really annoying and uh, hopefully you'll be able to kind of spot it now so you can prevent yourself from getting those extra uh, annoying folders that you have to click through. So have a great day.